White text on a gray and green background reads The Great Timeline of Harpers Ferry National Historical Park. Two kids in front of the Harpers Ferry National Historical Park welcome sign. Hey, we're Harpers Ferry Middle School kids and this is our podcast. Since we get a school near Harpers Ferry National Historical Park, we decided to make a video on its history. We chose one really cool event from each decade and we hope you enjoy it. White text reads 1940s. Photograph of Senator Randolph. Senator Jennings Randolph, one of the first supporters of the park. Jennings signs petition for park. It begins. He introduces the bill to Congress. At Congress. I support the building of the Harpers Ferry National Monument. Enter Harold Ix, one who opposed the park petition. It did not provide sufficient funds. I motion for reconsideration of this bill. The motion to reconsider the bill is passed. Finally, the park bill is passed. White text reads 1950s. Two people in front of the ruins of the Harper House. The architect Archie Franzen and the historian Charles Snell inspected the Harper House and advised on its restoration. People at typewriters? They wrote reports about it. White text reads 1960s. John Brown's Fort moving on a truck. In 1960, the National Park Service acquired John Brown's Fort. In 1968, they decided to move the building closer to its original location so it was more accessible to visitors. White text reads 1970s. Kids slid around a cardboard cutout of Jimmy Carter. In 1978, Jimmy Carter visited national parks in the area, including Harper's Ferry. Here, we see him touring the John Brown Fort with historian Shelby Foote. White text reads 1980s. Photographs of the 1985 flood. The flood was devastating. The water crested at 29.8 feet. The cleanup process took nine months. The flood yielded some positive results in the end. It helped them better prepare for the next flood. White text reads 1990s. The Harpers Ferry National Historical Park 50th Anniversary logo. In 1994, Harpers Ferry National Historical Park celebrated its 50th anniversary. White text reads 2000s. People cut a red ribbon outside the Meriwether Lewis Museum. Did you know that Harpers Ferry has a Lewis and Clark connection? In 2003, during the Lewis and Clark Bicentennial, the park opened a museum about it. White text reads 2010s. White text reads 17,000 YouTube hits, 400 volunteers and participants, 37 videos, 8 years, 1 vodcast. White text reads the future. We asked Park Superintendent Rebecca Harriet, what changes do you plan to make within the next decade or so for the park? Superintendent Harriet. Now, the thing that we want to do, though, is to try to expand our educational programs and expand our uh, programming so that the public can have more access to these resources and so that the public will have a better understanding of the importance of the resources at Harker's Ferry um, so that they will, you know, understand their history and understand uh, why we um, do protect them for, for them. White Text Reads Directors Amy Ballard, Tyler Schwartz, Videographers Natalie Newton, Will Ricketts, Film Editor Tim Osterich, Costumers Jessica Heffern, Sarah Offit, Actors Jonathan Hornbuckle, Alex Strayer, Amy Hernandez, Raven Ricketts, Nikki Defabaugh, Amber Simpson, with Jimmy Carter Cutout, and Narrator Alicia Fisher. Special Guest Park Superintendent Rebecca Harriet. Credits continue for several more seconds, after which appear the 2016 National Park Service Centennial logo in the Find Your Park logo.